Hello Internet, Clef here with more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's head into file one, which is our file, just for you and me. Alright, um, I have decided, I think going forward I'm just going to go ahead and, without repeating characters, I'm going to try to use characters that I've accomplished the least, and then just go to random if they're all the same. So, let's just go down the line. I think the last person I played was Blue Baby, and that wasn't successful, but, like I said, no repetition, so... Next is Eve. Eve is very interesting, because she has kind of a built-in strategy to her, in a way that's kind of similar to Judas. She starts with two items, as you can see down below, Dead Bird and Whore of Babylon. Um, Dead Bird, you can see it represented by the bird on her head that is, in fact, dead. You can tell by the X eyes, <laughs> or eye. Um, that spawns a bird that looks a lot like that, that uh, has kind of weak tracking. You has to be pretty close to track, but once it tracks onto something... Oh, look, I see a little thing walking on the wall here. Hello. <laughs> it's kind of cool, the ambience. Anyway, <laughs> I got... T it's a very ADD moment. Um, it will, kind of like the best bud fly, will kind of fly towards enemies and do contact damage. It's low damage, though. It's not not really great, but it can come in handy. And Whore of Babylon, which in fact works differently for Eve than for any other character. Because both of these items are, it's possible for you to get them. They're not exclusive to her. Eve just starts with them. Uh, what Whore of Babylon does is when Eve is at one full red heart of health or less, and for every other character it's one half of a red heart or less. So if you have all soul hearts, it'll be active. Um, she basically gets a speed and damage boost. And I don't know if anything else. I think maybe also a tears boost. Just in general, she gets a lot stronger. And, uh, in fact, her starting damage, as you can see, is pitiful. So generally what I do when I'm playing as Eve is I, I hurt myself on purpose and then play very carefully to get that damage boost because then her damage goes up to about where Judas starts. Get about three pips. Alright, starting off with Lust. This is going to take a while. Lust does have low health, but I also have low damage, so... <laughs> Alright, oh, she left behind Virus, which is very marginal effect. I poison stuff when it hits me. That's kind of mad. There is a half heart there, which I can use if I need it. Uh, usually the hurting myself happens in a curse room. Not, um, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. Because that's that's the easiest way to do it. Because I can check out what's in the curse room, and I take a half. As you can see, she also starts with two red hearts, not three. So I'll take a full red heart of damage as I go in and out of it. And I get to check it out, and then I'll be in kind of horror mode. <laughs> Which is something not a lot of games have, but the ones that do tend to be more fun. Um, I'll be in horror Babylon mode after I exit. The curse rooms are not guaranteed on the first floor. They're... You usually get them, but not every time. So, I actually maybe should have not put out that fire. I'm gonna hurt myself here. Uh, that's awkward. Um, yeah, I should not have put out all that fire. That was a source of damage. Ugh. Well, at least I have that. Speed and shot speed up. Now I get this happy face. <laughs> um, do I have any way to... Am I going to have to just hurt myself on purpose on the boss? So it doesn't take me forever to kill it? Oh, well, no key, so that's not an option. Alright, dingle! That's easy. Alright. Yeah, what a... <laughs> you get that when it's activated, and, uh... That is a reference to Castlevania 2 for the NES. Some of the older slash more into retro video games. 
will appreciate that more. So, I, I mean, I called it horror mode, but I guess I should just call it curse mode. Now, because, see, this wasn't separated from its poop, it's not counted as an enemy. So I can do that, well, if I hadn't killed it. Now, this is awkward. Um, I'm going to take this, even though it's going to heal me, and I'm going to lose horror mode. So I might as well just get all the health and hurt myself on purpose on the next floor. Generally, what I look to do as soon as I can... Oh, I forgot I have to press select once to get this set up here. It, oh, I can go in and out of this twice. Is um try to make my life consist mostly of soul hearts instead. Okay, this will be good. Okay, I get cursed. Grab these two. And now it hurts the sin heart instead, but... Now I'm in good shape. I only have half a heart less overall than I did when I started. I do have a good amount of money. That's also the other option at the beginning. You just step on the spike. Maybe even get a chest and you get down to that one heart you need. As you can see, those things are taking two hits instead of three. And I basically have three pips. <laughs> do not want that. Now, once I have non-red hearts, healing by accident is a lot more annoying because then... <laughs> There are only a couple of ways to train red hearts without draining the hearts in front of them. But that's a boss. No way to get that key, unfortunately. So I have to be careful not to grab those by accident. Which is not usually a concern, but I want to keep this damage buff. Please drop a key. Well, that's good. Uh, looks like I'm not going to get the treasure on this floor. Unless maybe I get latchkey or something from the boss. Um, unfortunately, because I, I hit my red hearts on purpose, uh, I'm not guaranteed by any means a deal room here. Or a devil room. I mean, on, on this first opportunity for a deal room, it, it has to be a devil room. An angel room can only happen after you've not after you've spawned the devil room but have not made a deal and if it happens to be one of the devil rooms that doesn't have any, de any deals that has like red chests instead then you can open them and it doesn't affect it just the fact that you haven't taken anything and see I didn't get it all right so soul heart range increase ah uh, could be worse all right so I'm out of luck there no item Okay, onward to Caves 1. Okay. No big deal. Got some bombs. I didn't have any of those either. Jeez. Alright, that's an item. So I'm definitely going to take it. Bomb friend. Alright. He takes your coins and occasionally drops stuff. I might let him do that because right now... Until I get a key, maybe I can get him to drop one. With my speed increases, this is a no big deal. No problem at all. Bum friend just looks very <laughs> disinterested. Ah. This sucks because these, the ground is all red, so it's kind of hard to tell where the bullets are sometimes. Okay. I'm going to quickly turn down my headphones here a little. I'm having a hard time hearing myself. Come on, key. Yeah! And it is... 2020, alright! That is awesome! 2020 doubles your shots, as you can tell. And, uh, unlike basically every other, uh, pickup that gives you, uh, more tiers per shot, it does not come with a tiers penalty. Tiers meaning how, the rate at which you fire. So, it's pretty much doubling my damage. 
in a lot of ways. You can grab that one too. Although I am going to use a bomb to blow these up. Might get something good. Oh wow, nice. That's a good trinket. Gives me a random effect of one of the mushroom pickups in each room. Oops, let's get out of the way of these. And this pill. Tears down. Well, I got my tears down after all. That sucks. Still a, an alright rate. Oh, definitely don't want that. No keys. <laughs> oh, damn, that was close. Um, yeah, game wants to drop all the hearts. <laughs> How about some more keys? I'd like those. save my bombs. Well, see, now I got <laughs> the mushroom effect that makes me smaller but increases my fire rate a lot. My damage also goes down, but uh, the fire rate goes up so much that overall you get more DPS. Oh, it looks like my dead bird got misaligned. Now it's floating above my head. It got a little distorted when I walked to the right. Oh, range down. Jeez. I have bad luck here. Uh, this is an XL, is it? No. Alright, um, I found the shop and I found the treasure room, so... In fact, no. I'm Because I really want more keys, I'm going to fully clear this floor. So let's do it. There's a curse room. I'll check it out. I have a good amount of life. Eh. I end up plus zero. <laughs> Uh, no, because that's I don't think a sacrifice room will take red health first. Oh, a marked rock. Those are harder to notice the lower you go. Awesome. Well, if I hadn't come back, I wouldn't have noticed it. Great. So I have a key and a bomb, and it looks like we have a long boss room, which means I'm going to be having a double trouble boss, two of the same boss. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, especially when I got this room effect. Oh yeah, these flies are gonna just get mopped up. Look at that. No problem at all. Oh, piece of cake. Ah, I got an HP up. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my buff. Oh, jeez. Oh god, my tears are terrible now. Well, I have these, though, if I grab all three of them. <laughs> uh, I hope they're good. If I grab all three of them, I'll be down to one red heart container. So I'll get my curse back. So let's see what we got. We're going to get all three. Guppy's tail, awesome. Guppy item. Um, that's my first guppy item, I think. Yep, that's good. The Book of Belial, that's nice. Another damage increase. And Dark Matter, which I love. Fear Shot. Now, I didn't, you notice I didn't get the Horrible Night to have a curse message. That's because only when damage brings you to that level. I think that's just a bug. That's probably unintended behavior, but the, uh, that message won't pop up unless it's taking a hit that brings you down to the requisite amount of red health. So now I'm guaranteed, uh, deal rooms for the rest of the game in places where I can get them. And these fear shots are nice, too. And because of Guppy's tail... And now I don't have to worry about picking up red health accidentally, because I actually only have one red heart container. I'm going to go ahead and do the big room. Oh, now I got the effect that shows me where special rooms are, so... That's good to know. Alright, so, yeah. I'm going up here so I can use the Book of Belial. Oh, it's a big room, but not really a big room. I'm waiting for these to uh, be over the pit so that they don't spawn, I think, spiders? Yeah. It's totally a time-saving thing. Alright, looking good so far. Uh, I have two keys. Alright, let's check it out now, especially because I have a guppy item. I want more of them. Okay. So I end up plus some life there. 
Uh, no marked rocks. I'm kind of looking now. Arcade. Well, let's check out the boss room. Uh, not worth it because it's only a normal chest. Okay. Um, I can wait to donate. Alright. Let's make our way back. We've got a super sloth fight. The fear effect is pretty strong. Um, it will prevent... Most enemies, when they have fear on them, won't attack. Oh, I got a card. The Chariot. That's a good one. It gives you temporary invulnerability and contact damage. So, in other words, you're invincible and you can run into stuff to hit it. And it does a good amount of damage, too. Okay, got a bomb. I will use a bomb to grab these two pills. God damn. Oh, jeez. I've had some bad luck with this. Oh. Little chubby. It does a good amount of damage. You throw it out. It's kind of like Bob's brain, the exploding brain. Except you don't have to worry about it hurting you. <laughs> it cannot hurt you. I should have kept the key because I forgot about the possibility of going to a shop. Actually, I should have let bum friend pick up the... Ooh. Oh, uh, I gotta let him pick up the coins because maybe he can drop a key for me. Uh, well, that's the last room, so... Carrion Queen. That's kind of a rare one. Good. I've seen this enemy way more often in boss rushes than under any other circumstances. It's making little hearts that when you destroy them gets rid of some life. It doesn't always have that attack pattern. I think this is a champion version. It's kind of like Chubb. Kind of a palette swap, I guess you could say. Using real old school terminology. I just noticed it makes kind of like a sound of pain when you destroy a heart. I never noticed that before. Alright. Oh. Um, no, because if it's red chest, I'm going to be really sad. Oh, awesome. Another guppy item. And I end up in the exact same spot before, because... When you get Dead Cat, you are brought to one red heart container no matter what. So, if you use your last red heart container to get it, you'll be right back where you were. And I can make deals with my red hearts without carrying. No problem. Even if I didn't have the buffer. Alright, so I'm not going to grab this, because I don't want... That's breakfast, by the way. This looks like spoiled milk. So, I'm going to not bother with that. And I'm at Necropolis 1... About four minutes away from boss rush possibility, so it's not looking very likely. I tend not to rush very much, though. Grab that, please. I want keys. I want you to drop things for me. Well, that'll do the job. Bomb. Pow. <laughs> Battle room, what do we got? Red chest, yes. Well, let's see, maybe I can use this offensively. Yeah, I killed one. <laughs> I don't typically do that. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Ah. I can actually leave here without... <laughs> If I just let them hit me, I'll just leave the room without having to finish. Alright, got them all headless so that they can't jump. Not because it's particularly dangerous, because it's really annoying. Ah, should've let them get the key. I mean, <laughs> the coins. I don't know, it's in my nature to grab the coins. Ow. Jeez, I've been kind of careless. Although, that was nicely aimed, if I do say so myself. 
There was a key there. I heard it drop. I'll be back for it. You got something for me? Justice. Okay, well that's gonna give me a key. No, I want that nickel. Thank you. <laughs> that's actually very good. Uh, let's get my chariot card back. My life is looking kind of shitty right now. Actually, I shouldn't have bothered with that. I just kind of did it without thinking because it's a big room, but it's only these two guys. I'll probably charge it back up by the time I get to the boss room. I should... Oh, jeez, that guy's annoying. Alright. The treasure room's here, too, so that's good. Another card. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Oh, I got a Pisces, I think? No. Libra. That... If that's Libra, that balances my stats. I don't know if I want that. Now let's go for it. I feel balanced. So what is my damage? Oh, that's totally worth it. The tears boost? Yeah, that was a big boost. Um... I have a lot of money now. <laughs> The tear, the not tears, the fear effect really adds a lot to survivability because you can fear something and then just kind of forget about it for a few seconds. Oh, that's true. I forgot that Libra also adds six to all three of my collectibles here, so I have seven keys now, which means I can just go crazy unlocking things. Mm, I don't want that because I only have one red heart container. That lets you store red hearts that you can't pick up. Just kind of hold on to them. Uh, I'm going to grab a soul heart. And I don't think I need a key, actually. So Libra balances all my stats. So anything I pick up that does anything will basically be turned from... Like, if something just boosts damage, it's going to boost everything a little. Thank you. Although I feel kind of slow now. Uh no. I still have the Liberty Cap modifying my stats from room to room. <laughs> Pushing them all the way across. Oh, goat head. I was about to say, like, oh, another guppy item. Well, that means Book of Belial, I don't need it anymore, because goat head does the same thing. It guarantees deal rooms. But that's all it does. Although the Book of Belial does give me the damage boost, of course. Can't neglect that. Can't forget that. I will take this. Makes every chest a red chest. As long as you have it. Hopefully it can help me get to my third guppy item. Mask of Infamy. Another champion version. This is kind of pinning this thing. The fear status. There we go. Oh. Yeah, fear is also nice for things you can only hit from behind. Because it'll usually make it turn away from you. Ow. Yeah, you can't have the same status, or maybe any status, on something right away. That's a big tears up, but because of Libra, <laughs> I don't know exactly what effect it has. Alright. I like this a lot. Kind of a mini guppy effect. He makes blue flies, and their damage scales with your damage, so as long as my damage is nice, so too shall be his. Alright, so we're at 21 minutes already, so I think I will unlock this. Alright, three red chests. Thanks to my trinket, of course. Ah. Oh, a good one. How about that? <laughs> I like it. One of them's gotta be good. Alright, so, as soon as one of the blue flies hits one, he'll spawn another one, which I like. It really adds a good chunk of damage to, you know, it really adds a good amount of a DPS. And because of Guppy's tail, it makes it more likely to get chests in the first place. 
So that combination, I have a significantly higher chance than usual to get my third guppy item. Alright, got another pretty fly, that's good. Protect me from the projectiles. Yeah, I think Libra has turned out well in general. Overall, rather. Alright. Oh, run away. Alright. Okay. Oh. I'll not be unlocking that. It's probably a dice room. Or, if you want to use the correct conjugate, a die room. Which could actually make it kind of a pun. I don't know if they were going for that. Alright, two keys left. Oh, speaking of Bob's brain. Um. Oh, what the hell. Let's go for it. Let's have all the explosive fun. Alright. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, alright. And the key, since I have none. Well, let's just feed this thing. <laughs> Try to do my little trick here. Oh well. While I was still trying to line it up, it stopped working. Okay. I don't know what happened to my other card. I think I used the pill and forgot to pick the card back up. Whoops. Gotta be careful about this right now. I got quite a... <laughs> quite a following here now. Alright. Oops. I don't even know what hit me. Uh, hmm. Well, I can't go back. So let's... Go ahead and clear this floor. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Double chub. Oh yes, get that damage. That was good. <laughs> Fear is a great tool against chub. That was a piece of cake. We actually have a curse room. I want to check that out. Alright. Just get some life. Yeah, that matters. Anyway. Uh, I also have a boss room. Alright. Jeez. <laughs> well, I got that. Okay. Oh, this should be nothing, too. Piece of cake. I got another key for it. The effort. Uh, since I have plenty of bombs, I'm going to go ahead and definitely blow all these up for soul hearts. Blue fire has a blue and purple fire. I think I have the same chance, and they both have a significantly higher chance to have soul hearts. And that is the most optimal way to do it. <laughs> Three bombs to blow up all six. For your future reference. Alright, well, I'm not going to use all my keys. Well, I guess I could. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> Let's go ahead and beat up Mom. Ow. Yes, get that, that damage, alright. That was pretty easy. There's a range and shot speed up. Although, remember, everything is balanced now, so... Uh, I'm not gonna lose three soul hearts just for that. Gimpy makes it so that I think it's a 10% chance every time you get hurt it'll spawn a soul heart. Especially when I'm about to go down here where everything hurts me for one full heart instead of half a heart. Okay, I'll avoid the big room if I can. Rather not deal with it. <laughs> Be careful not to hurt myself with Bob's brain. I 
tend to ignore curse rooms, but maybe I should... <laughs> am I desperate enough for that third guppy item? Yes, I am. Let's go for it. Oh! I get a pentagram and a red chest, but no luck there, but that's a damage increase, so it's going to increase everything. <laughs> There's two red hearts, two hearts for the privilege, but I really want to get Guppy Transformation. <laughs> uh, come on, gotta get this going. Wow, no chance. Oh, I got spiders. I was about to say, uh, what is it, empty? Larry Jr. is nothing now. You notice that I get nothing a fair amount of the time, too. Uh, the Guppy's Tail will make chests the reward for clearing a room more likely, but it also makes the chance of nothing more likely. So my health's kind of low now. That's kind of my own fault. But I have a good damage output, high speed. I think I can survive. I would like to get some soul hearts. Keep me going though. Come on. Ah, boo. Oh, the worst. Alright. Uh, let's go straight for the boss. Teratoma, that's another we uh, not weird one, but uh, rare one. Oh, soul heart, nice. Speed and range up. Of course, it rain does everything. Krampus. I completely forgot to use my Book of Belial. <laughs> Head of Krampus. I'll definitely take that. Head of Krampus does a fixed amount of damage. So it doesn't scale with your damage, but that fixed amount of damage is very high. <laughs> That's probably why it's a six room item. Okay. Oh, I see. No problem. Let's do that. How? Come on. Let's, uh... See if I can make something happen here. True, I don't really need the coins. I have to be careful, because with Bob's brain, I can easily insta-kill the fly that spawns. So I'll just let the blue, the uh, rotten baby's blue fly kill it. Nice, but uh, ah, let's just go here the rest of the time. This is a shitty one, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I have the tower, that's... Possibly worse. Alright, let's just blow these things up. <laughs> Got my bomb back for that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, these guys are annoying in big rooms. All right. <laughs> Yay, got a scent for my troubles. Chests, where are you? Oh god. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's that. Okay, <laughs> it took out half its life. Just like that. Let's just go ahead and do this. The bomb should help. Wow, they really did. That may be the first time I've ever used <laughs> that card so offensively and with such success. Alright, ending time. Alright, so it lives. Um, we'll see what that means next time, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't, hmm. Maybe now is a good time to work on a challenge. Maybe I'll alternate doing a challenge and doing a normal run now. Because they're kind of fun to do. <laughs> and sometimes they're really frustrating to do. But, uh, you know what? Next time I'll do a challenge. Or I'll attempt a challenge, at least. And I'll try it for a little while and see how it goes. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll catch me next time.